like then? I mean, it, it, what can you tell us, and particularly for, for our viewers, this is a very important issue. I mean, obviously, the whole of UB 2020, which is a really key redevelopment plan, the whole reason why Bill Stokowski was holding out to begin with, hinges on the ability for SUNY empowerment to get passed. Well, there's going to, 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 to be parts that deal with that, other parts that deal with rational tuition, but we're just trying to get down the details. We're going to be speaking uh, to uh, those uh, institutions. We're also speaking to the chancellor of both CUNY and SUNY uh, and getting their input and uh, making sure that the uh, legislation uh, passes both houses and is signed by the government. Okay, but what I'm hearing at this moment is there are no, there are no details at all. In fact, we don't know by how much which universities would be able to raise tuition, by how much they would be able to raise tuition, whether TAP would be increased to offset that tuition increase, how much procurement freedom these in universities would have. I mean, those are the kind of details that we're talking about, right? Those details are being negotiated and worked upon, and in order for the bill to pass, a lot of the details dealing with the TAP, uh, dealing with uh, the rational tuition, dealing with proc procurement, excuse me, uh, dealing with the public-private partnership are very important to all different members in our conferences. Uh, those issues will be addressed that were brought up during this whole period of negotiation. Okay.